Hello! Today we'll be showing Bill.com's offering for an affordable way to pay vendors via international wire transfer without having to log into your bank or manage separate third-party services. Keep all of your international and domestic transactions in one easy place. Let's get started. With Bill.com, you can pay all your domestic and international vendors using one simple process. Click International Payments in the left navigation pane to learn more. To avoid high bank fees and lifting fees from intermediary banks, we highly suggest using Bill.com to send international wires in your vendor's local currency. There are no intermediary bank charges and no fee from Bill.com on these payments, so your vendor receives the full payment amount. If your vendor prefers to receive the payment in U.S. dollars, the Bill.com wire transfer fee is only $9.99. However, like any other wire sent in U.S. dollars, intermediary banks may charge your vendor additional fees, and Bill.com does not have control over intermediary bank fees on international wires sent in U.S. dollars. Use our Easy Currency Converter to check the current exchange rates, which are subject to change daily. With the ability to send international wires to a growing list of countries and currencies, we've got you covered. Click Pay an International Vendor to send an international wire right from this page, or stay tuned to see how to add an international vendor, create a foreign currency bill, and then pay that bill with an international wire. Let's walk through creating an international vendor. Adding an international vendor is easy. Any user with vendor management permissions can add or manage international vendors starting from the Vendors tab on the left navigation pane and selecting Add Vendor. The key when setting up an international vendor is to specify the country where your vendor is based as well as the country your vendor's bank is located. These do not have to be the same in order to send international wires, but the bank location is what will determine the information required to set up international wires. Next, select the currency you'd like to enter bills in for this vendor. The available currencies will depend on the vendor's bank location. You can click to view all currencies if you need to select another type to enter bills and payments, but it is highly suggested that you use the pre-populated currency options. Next, you'll enter the vendor's bank information. If you do not have this yet, you can save the vendor without it and come back to add it later. Account or beneficiary name must match what the vendor's bank has on file or the payment could be rejected or held by the recipient bank. Depending on the country of the recipient's bank, the banking information required will vary. For example, Mexico requires an 18-digit CLABE number, while the UK requires a 22-character alphanumeric IBAN number. Once valid bank information is entered, the system will automatically populate the bank information, which you should then review for accuracy. Next, you'll select Purpose of Payment, which is required to send international wires. Select the category that most closely matches the purpose of your payments to this vendor. This can be changed later if needed by simply editing the vendor or when making payments. Finally, you can edit the payment notification email, phone, and fax if desired. The pay to name will default to the previously entered beneficiary name and cannot be edited. Additional vendor details can be added as needed, but are not required. Once the vendor is saved with valid bank information, they will now show as paid by International Wire and balances reflect in the vendor currency selected. You are now ready to create a bill. Let's create a bill for an international vendor. Any user with Manage Bills permissions can create bills for international vendors. Start by clicking Bills in the left navigation pane and clicking Create Bill or select a document in your inbox and click Enter Bill. Select your international vendor from the drop-down, which will then populate the currency and the current estimated exchange rate. Please note, the exchange rate may be different when you make a payment on the bill. You can edit the exchange rate on the bill if you wish, but the exchange rate at the time of payment will be determined by the current exchange rate and cannot be edited. Enter in the bill details such as invoice number, amount, description, approvers, etc., and then click Save or Save and New if you have another bill to enter. 
And that's it. If you have any questions about entering a new bill, please be sure to check out the Support Center. You are ready to send an international wire payment. Once you've set up an international vendor and created a bill, it is a breeze to pay with international wires. From the bills page in the left navigation pane, you're presented all available bills to pay where bank verified users with pay permissions can select review and pay on an unpaid bill for your international vendor. Choose a full or partial amount to pay. We will always debit in US dollars so the amount is shown in US dollars as well based on the current exchange rate. For US dollar bills, you can schedule the payment in advance by choosing a future process date. For foreign currency bills, the process date will always default to the next business day and cannot be changed. This represents the date your bank account is debited. If you need a specific process date for a foreign currency payment, please schedule the payment the business day before the desired process date. Select the payment method from any currently verified bank account and customize the payment memo for your vendor's reference if desired, which defaults to the invoice number and vendor account number unless changed. Purpose of payment is required on international wires and this field will default to whatever was selected when you originally created the vendor but can be changed per payment here. International wire payments are delivered within one to five business days. The time can vary depending on the location of the beneficiary, the amount sent, and the recipient bank itself but we will provide you with an estimated delivery time when you schedule the payment. The exchange rate at the time of the scheduled payment is guaranteed until your vendor receives payment. When you're comfortable with the amount to pay and the process date, click Pay. And that's all there is to it. Under Payments Out, you will see the scheduled international wire payment ready to be sent out, just like your other checks and e-payments. If you'd like to trace the payment, you can click the payment confirmation number and then click payment trace details for the information to verify the accuracy of the bank info and for the information you can give your vendor to help their bank trace the payment. International wire payments can be seamlessly included in your bulk pay workflow right along with domestic payments. Let's take a look at how this works. From the bills page in the left navigation pane, you're presented all available bills to pay where bank verified users with pay permissions can select multiple bills to pay at once or bulk pay, including any for your international vendor. Click the box next to the invoice number for one or more bills and click review and pay. Review and edit the process date and amount you wish to pay per bill. Remember, the process date represents the date your bank account is debited and cannot be changed from the next business day on international wires sent in a foreign currency. You can also select the pay from account per payment from any currently active and verified bank accounts. When you're comfortable with the amounts to pay and the process dates, click Next. On the Review and Send page, you can customize the payment notification email address as well as the memo for your vendor's reference if desired, which defaults to the invoice number and vendor account number unless changed. If you have changed your mind and don't want to pay one or more of the bills after all, simply check the box for the payment and click Remove. Once you are satisfied with the payment details, click Submit Payments. Success! The bulk payments will now be listed on the scheduled Payments Out page, and you can rest easy knowing that payments will soon be on the way.